What's going on, everybody? It's Funky Nice, and I want to come to you guys in a video. Coming at you guys with my Eagles Washington football team preview, week 17 of the 2021 NFL season. Eagles coming to this game riding high. Um, another big division win last week against the um, New York Giants. The Washington football team last week got absolutely destroyed um, against the Dallas Cowboys by a score of 56 to 14. The Eagles right now are, are currently sitting in the seventh seed of the um, playoffs, the NFC playoffs, and they could potentially clinch this week. If you would have told me this back in, let's say, week week six or seven, that the Eagles, you know, with the way they were, the direction they were headed in, that they would be um, in the in the midst of a play of the playoffs where they where they where they control their own destiny at this moment, I would have thought you was crazy. Just keeping it real. But things have turned around very quickly for this team in a relatively short period of time. And I know I was very critical of um, Nick Serrani. I was very critical of him. I was very critical of um, Jayla Hurst at times. And I will continue to be critical of them when I feel they, they, they need to be criticized. But, you know, Nick Serrani has finally got his head out of his butt. He has finally listened to the, to the fans. You know, we, we've been telling him to run that football to run that ball, he's actually running the ball. And with the running game being what it is, man, it takes a lot of pressure off of Jalen Hurts, who at the moment is still nursing a ankle injury. So Nick Serrani seems to be coming along, and he's learning as a head coach as time goes on. Uh, I'm not – I'm still not um, – well, I'm still not – you know, I'm still skeptical of him as a coach. Um, Jalen Hurts, I still got to see more of Jalen Hurts. But I'm very happy overall where the team is at right now. This was a team that only won four games last year. I told you guys they win five or six games. That's an improvement from last year. Here they are now, eight to seven, and on the door of the playoffs. Um, Eagles have to win this game against Washington, and they have to um, get a little help. I believe the Green Bay Packers have to beat the uh, Minnesota Vikings for the Eagles to clinch this week. But ultimately, the Eagles control their own destiny. Got two more games to come up. This this game against Washington, and you got the Dallas Cowboys to close out the season. So, the Eagles are in a position right now where they control their own destiny. They gotta go out there and handle their business. Um, the Washington football team this is not a good football team. They're not they're not a good team. Um, <clears throat> we beat them um, previously in week um, fifteen. We beat them relatively easy in week fifteen. We gotta make sure that we come out to this game and. Keep that running game going. Um, we, we have taken a big loss with Miles Sanders. Um, according to reports, Miles Sanders has suffered a, um, a hand injury. Um, so that, that's going to be a big loss. He has not been practicing this week. And if I had to take a guess right now, I would say he's not playing on Sunday. Um, Jordan Howard. Jordan Howard is dealing with a, a stinger injury, which he dealt with last year. He dealt with um, last year as well. You know, the Stinger injuries have been uh, his Achilles heel. So, bad news there, but he has been practicing. You know, crossing our fingers that he's uh, ready to go on uh, tomorrow, on Sunday. And crossing my fingers that, um, you know, that overall this team is very, you know, that, we, that we're good to go minus uh, Miles Sanders. Um, you know, we're going to have Kenneth Gainwell. We're going to have Boston Scott. I expect this running game to still be um, very uh, effective. I expect us to be able to run this ball um, very effectively against Washington. Now, I picked the um, Washington football team to win in my, um, my my pitch for this week. Not because I don't believe in the Eagles. I just think that, you know, you know the reverse psychology thing has been working. So, I'm going to continue to keep the reverse psychology going. I, I got the Washington uh, football team winning this game by a score of um, 27 to 24. A field goal wins the game. But, like I said, that's not because... I don't believe in this team. I just it just feels like whenever I start picking them, that's when they go out there and crack the bed. So continue to use that reverse psychology and see where it gets me at, right? So 27-24, but like I said, crossing my fingers that I'm absolutely wrong on that. That I'm wrong on that. And the boy and the Eagles go out there and they hell on their job. Now, unlike last time, uh, we will be seeing um uh Trevor Heineke, the the Washington football team's quarterback, playing this game more likely. You know. He has had some success this year, but he is also a guy that is um, very turnover prone, very, uh, you know, very, very turnover prone. 
if you get pressure in his face. You know, he likes to try to force the ball deep downfield to go for a big play. That should be to our benefit, you know. Um, yeah, this is a game on paper that we should definitely win. We got to make sure that defensively that we get the pressure into uh, Trevor Heineke's face. Force Trevor Heineke to turn that ball over, you know. If we if we can get pressure in his face early in this game, if we can hit him early in this game and get the pressure on him, force a few turnovers, then this is a game that we can control for from the very beginning of the game to the very end of the game. Um, you know, like I said, keys to victory, old line, those, those guys been balling out very well. They have been playing very well this season. Old line come do their, you know, come handle your business this game. Um, you know, open up the open up the running lanes for the running backs, of course. Um, keep you no know, protect the um, uh, Jalen Hurts very well. You know, if, if we get the running game going early, that will open up things in the play action pass to, to Dallas Goddard. It will open up the it will open up things for the receivers. You know, um, Devontae Smith. Um, you know, Jalen Reger, Chris Watkins. You know, um, you know, um, Greg Ward. Um, um, it, it will definitely open up things for those guys. So, you know, definitely get the running game going early. That will open up the passing game. You know, the, the, this Washington team is very banged up. They're missing key players on that defense. So we need to go out there and take advantage and use their, you know, their their injuries really to our advantage. Like I said, I'm picking Washington to win this game by a score of 20, um, 27-24. But I'm crossing my fingers that the, that the birds go out there and they get the job done. But um, don't really have a whole lot to say about this game. Like I said, it's a game that we should win. You know, we are the better t the better team, but will we be the better team tomorrow when the when the game start? That is the big question mark. I'm more I'm more um, afraid of our team than I am the, the Washington football team. So I'm picking them to win 27-24, but I'm crossing my fingers, using that um you know reverse psychology. I'm hoping the Eagles go out there and get the job done. So there you have it. Gonna make this video quick. I really don't have a whole lot to say about this game. Just go out there, like Al Davis would say, just win, baby. And really, that's ultimately what it comes down to. Just win, baby. But um, yeah, let me know. What you, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As always, go birds. Sparky Nights, nice, no one's out of here. Flag or fly. Peace.